Hello everybody, how you doing? How's today going? Day training your parents so far? Hopefully it is. Hopefully you're having a very good day today. Well, today we're going to talk about the difference between atheism and agnosticism. Not the word gnosticism, G-N-O-S-T-I-C-I-S-M, but rather agnosticism. That's a different word there. Some people don't pick up on. It's A G N O S T I C I S M. Okay, hope I spelled that right. Atheism is a complete apathy in God, a non belief in God. Agnosticism, on the other hand, recognizes that you believe in a higher power such as God, but you just don't feel he has any influence or any bearing on your life. So that's the difference between the two. So which one are you? Are you atheist or you're agnostic? Well, we'll find out. There's a scripture here that shows why you don't have to worry about whether or not there's a higher power known as God, whatever you believe his name is. Personally, I believe his name is Jehovah, but I don't want there to be a squabble about that. Maybe you believe his name is Jesus. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see what we can do here. I found a scripture here. Yeah, let me try to locate it for you. Yes, Zechariah. The Bible book named Zechariah. Chapter 2 and verse 13. All right. It says, Be silent, all flesh, before Jehovah. For he is taking action from his holy dwelling. Alright. No need to say anything. He's taking action from his holy mountain. His holy dwelling. Somewhere up there in the heaven. Secure place of refuge. If you're on high ground. Away from your enemies. Away from danger. You'll be in a spiritual refuge. You'll be spiritually safe. Not to say that your life couldn't end tomorrow. I'm not giving a threat. But anything could happen. Time and unexpected events. But the Bible says, Fear not those who kill the body, but after that are able to do nothing more. Fear not those who kill the body, but cannot destroy the soul. Two different places there. Alright. So I wanted to bring up something else for you. Let's see here. Oh, I got a complete list here about praying, prayers, and how to pray. All right, are you ready for this? I'll pause in between, give you some time to write some things down. Subject is pray. Exodus chapter 14, verse 10. Second Kings chapter 19, verses 14 and 15. First Chronicles chapter 5, verse 20. Chapter 16, verse 25. Second Chronicles Chapter 14, verse 11. Same book of the Bible, chapter 32, verse 20. Psalm 55, verse 1. Chapter 65, verse 2. Chapter 102, verse 1. And since these are in Psalms, I'm going to start saying stanza, because the book of Psalms really is a psalm. To Jehovah our God. So where we left off at chapter 135 of the same book of the Bible so stands at 3. Chapter 141 stands at 2. Chapter 145 stands at 18. Chapter 147 stands at 1. The book of Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8. Same book of the Bible, Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 2 and 21. Chapter 28, verse 9. The book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 13. Chapter 9, verse 17. Now the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 44. Then chapter 6, verses 6 and 9. 
chapter 7, verse 7, chapter 14, verse 23, chapter 18, verse 19, chapter 21, verse 22. I'm going to stop there for a moment, let's catch up, maybe you need to rewind the video, I don't know. Mark, chapter 1, verse 35, oh, did I interrupt you? Now let me know when you're done, okay? Still right here. Alright, now if you're all caught up, Mark chapter 3, verse 13, Mark chapter 6, verse 46, chapter 11, verse 24, Oops. chapter 14, verse 32, and in case you didn't get that from before, Chapter 1, verse 35 in the book of Mark. Luke, chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. Chapter 4, verses 42. Chapter 5, verse 16 in the same book of the Bible, Luke. Chapter 6, verse 12, verse 27, verse 28. And then chapter 9, verse 18. Chapter 11, verse 9. Chapter 18, verse 1. The Bible book of John, chapter 14, verse 13. Chapter 15, verse 7. Chapter 16, verse 23. Chapter 16, verse 24. I'll stop right there for a moment. When this all unfolds, and you finally start reading all of these, you'll be amazed. You'll feel a closer connection to God in this great day and age of the disconnect. Unfortunately, society has a disconnect from God. You really need to turn around, don't you think? Don't you agree? All right. Acts, chapter 7, verse 16. Chapter 10, verse 31. Romans chapter 8 verse 26, chapter 12 verses 12 and 14, chapter 15 verse 30, the Bible book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, Colossians, Colossians verse 3 and 16, chapter 3 and 16. Colossians 3 and 16. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 and 25. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 1. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7. Chapter 13 verse 18. James chapter 5 verse 15. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, chapter 5 verse 6 and 7. Once again, that's 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, chapter 5 verses 6 and 7. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14, Revelation chapter 5 verse 8, chapter 8 verses 3 and 4, 3 and 6, alright, well just to let you know, I took down one of my live streamers from yesterday, I had to delete it, well I didn't have to, but I did anyway, there are no viewers there, I don't know if you knew about it, but I played some music not only from an app that I had, which there was no, uh, copyright claim of, but uh, there's the music that played directly off of YouTube, from the YouTube playlist that I had, and uh, apparently YouTube thought there was a copyright claim there, so there was a restriction there. I apologize there, I 
didn't think there was going to be any problems if it was already on YouTube. But I tried to entertain some people by switching between religious music and in the modern contemporary, like light rock. So, um, I don't think there was any trouble with me playing the religious music for the second half of it. Yet. I even gave credit to the prophets, the sources, and the comments. And I even said what the artist's name was, what the name of the song was, for all of them, really. So I don't know exactly what the problem was. I hope I didn't mess up too much. But please subscribe to my channel, if you will. If you see this, and you really like this, you like any of my other videos, please subscribe. They're really counting on me getting enough subscribers. I probably won't make it there in a week from the 24th of June with getting 1,000 subscribers. But I'll keep plugging along. I'll keep seeing what I can do. I'm like a John Deere tractor that's about 25 to 40 years old, you know. Having a hard time starting up. They used to have generators in them instead of engines. So, I have some shorts on uh, my YouTube channel as well at Andrew Westberg 1126. And I hope they become shorts. I hope we get enough views. But there's something else I'd like to share with you. I know there's a big dividing line between, between Christians and the rest of the world. I don't mean to make a negative remark. I've already been through that. I've already been a little off in the face a few times. And uh, I don't mean to start a fight. I don't want to put a snare on your face or anything. But uh, a few scriptures I'd like to share about being of a different sort. No sharing between darkness and light of Christ and Belial. First Corinthians chapter nine, verses twenty-two. Second Corinthians chapter six, verse fifteen. Well, those might help you out. And There's a few more on some idols here about idolatry. I don't know if you're familiar with the word idolatry, but that's a big question in the minds of many. Idolatry is idol worship. It could be anything from the form of veneration, in other words, worship of an idol known as the cross. It could be a Christmas tree. It could be the statue of a Madonna. It could be a rosary bead. It could be any such thing. It could be a gnome in your front yard. Well, here we go. Second Kings, chapter 10, verses 16 and 17, and 26 and 27. Numbers, chapter 25, verse 11. This is about tolerating no rivalry. About one of the idols being turned into a latrine back in those days. Next time I might have a list of a uh, complete list of loyal love, but it may not be a complete list of loyal love. I wrote many different scriptural citations down, but I found out there were a few more places that I wasn't looking. But maybe you can find some. Maybe you can stumble upon some. But that'll be next time, all right? Well, I hope you enjoyed your day. And uh, check out my videos. Please subscribe if you will. If you're on Facebook or any other social media, please subscribe to it once you see this. Once you click on the links. At Andrew Westberg. No use in there. 1126. Thank you. Take care. And have a great day.